that's one way we can create an interaction. Um, we can use pictures to create interactions. Um, one way we can do that is, first of all, just put a picture on the wall. Our museum might have a, a theme on animals, if that's the particular standard that you're trying to address. So, uh, pretty easy. You know, we can just add a picture of an animal, and if someone wants to know a little more about these penguins, then the only thing they need to do is um, click on the picture, and the hyperlink will take them to that additional room. Of course, you'd have to add an additional hyperlink. Use some of the picture tools to make these pictures pop off the wall. Add a frame or a shadow, um, but make your make your museum come to life. You really want to uh, own this. This has to be your project, or if you're assigning it to students, it has to be their project. You've got to add your own piece of creativity to it um, that gives it a, a, an additional element of fun, plus there's the learning experience of it. Um, but there's some really nice tools that can make your pictures pop off of the wall very quickly. Um, another th way that we can get around, or let me add another picture first, uh, because adding pictures on trapezoid walls is a little different. You'll see if I try to add this picture to my trapezoid wall, it, it's just not right. Um, it's not really following the line of the wall. So what we need to do if we want to add a picture on our trapezoid wall is give it that trapezoid shape. So I'm going to start by inserting a trapezoid or drawing a trapezoid. So we'll go to insert shapes and I'm going to pick up one of my trapezoids. Here's one. Okay, and that's going to be about the size of my picture. I'm going to go on and rotate this. And I'm working in um, Office 2010, so uh, there's a slight difference here, and I'm going to point it out in just a second. But now that I have this shape on the wall, um, you should see that it's kind of following the flow of the wall. and. Um, you know, it looks like it's on the wall. It doesn't look like it's standing out from the wall like this rectangle did. But how do I put a picture in here? Well, while I've got this trapezoid selected, I'm going to go to my drawing tools and I am going to work with the fill. And one of the options on fill is a picture fill. So we can actually fill our um, shape with a picture. Okay, and I'll grab this cute koala. Now, here's the difference I want to point out. Very important difference. If you're in 2007, in this area, you will see, I believe, an option that says um, rotate with shape, and it's checked. You want to deselect that. Because otherwise, since we rotated that trapezoid, um, our picture is going to end up rotated as well. And we don't want that. And you're going to see that here. They don't have that option in 2010. We'll look at another way to get around it. Um, but you can see what I'm talking about right here. Our little, tra our little koala is sideways, and we don't want that. So another way to correct that, if you miss deselecting that when you get ready to insert the picture, is to go to Format Picture. I did a right click to pull up this menu. Go over to Fill. And here you see Rotate with Shape. We're going to deselect it. Okay, and then we're going to close it. And now our koala is in the right position. Uh, we can try to give him a little. Let's see. It may not let us do some of the picture items, but we could always create. Um, our own frame or we could make the line a little bit thicker on our shape to give it a, a little idea of the fact that there's a frame or something there. It's not just a picture stuck on the wall. 
And so again, each of these things we could use to uh, go on to another area of our museum. Okay, one other, two other things we'll try to do very quickly. One is just using a simple arrow on a wall. Okay, we could insert from our shapes an arrow. Okay, and if we want our visitors to, let's say, continue on, I'm going to rotate this in this direction, then we can. Another uh, trick that we could use is to kind of hang half of a picture on a wall. Okay, um, just give the idea that, and we could fill this with some picture, but that there's something there that you might want to explore. And so by clicking on this area, people could continue to another part of our museum. And lastly, um, you can also have little sitting areas. Uh, we'll talk about when we get back to class how we could embed a video. Or one other thing that you could do is um, have a little statue. Okay, use some of our 3D shapes to create a little pedestal. And you might have a bust of you know, a president or, um, you know, maybe a display of some eggs or something like that. Whatever goes with the theme of your particular museum. But there's so many different things that we could do with this. And the, again, the whole idea is you want to have this tool that your visitors can come and explore. And, um, or a tool that your students can use so that they can present the information that they've been studying. So it takes a little bit of creativity and visualization, um, but if you play around with it, I'm sure you'll come up with a great product. And I look forward to seeing the end results.